it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of the holiday series. I am so happy you guys are loving this series. I am loving it too. Um, so today we are doing something a little bit different. So this series, as you know, is meant to, by the end of it, give you all the recipes you need to create the perfect vegan holiday dinner. But since we have kind of many weeks in this series. I also wanted to throw in a few fun videos to do with drinks. So today we are going to be making three holiday coffee drinks and this is just very timely because yesterday was the launch of Starbucks new like holiday collection and I try not to go to Starbucks a ton. I used to go a lot like in the past but I try to just make all my coffee at home now just because it's cheaper, it's better for the environment and honestly I feel like it is most of the time better. That being said, I do think that Starbucks gets really creative with their fall and holiday drinks and I think they do do a good job at coming up with like really delicious sounding drinks and this year is no exception. When I was looking at the holiday menu I was like oh my gosh all of these sound amazing and so I picked three that I wanted to try and recreate. Yesterday I did get the sugar cookie latte for research purposes um, and I haven't actually tried the other two that I'm gonna make. So I can't vouch for if those ones will be exactly the same as the ones in this video but nevertheless I'm going to try and make it as close to the description of those as I can and they're gonna be delicious regardless so I'm so excited for this video I really hope you guys are too and if you're enjoying the holiday series make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it Okay, starting off with the sugar cookie oat milk latte. So we are making sugar cookie syrup. So to make this, you need white sugar, water, vanilla extract, and almond extract. These are both very important for the flavor. Whisk that and bring it to a simmer until it's dissolved. And then don't freak out, but we're putting a little bit of butter in the syrup. Look, Bulletproof Coffee people did it first. I didn't make this up. Butter and coffee is not new, but honestly, it just adds like such a depth of flavor to the syrup and makes it so buttery and very cookie-like, so don't skip that. And then for the milk, I'm using a mix of oat cream and cashew milk just to make it kind of almost like a whole milk consistency, and then I am just frothing that in my milk frother. Okay, so then to brew the shot, you can do just brewed coffee or you can do espresso like I'm doing. So this is my Breville Barista Express. I have a whole video on unboxing this machine, but I've had it for a year and I'm obsessed. And if you're thinking of getting the machine, this is how you use it. So you add your beans to the hopper and then you just click the portafilter in the grinder once and it will dispense the set amount of coffee that you specify on the dial. And then you just want to even it out. I bought this separate coffee distribution tool off Amazon and it was a really great purchase it really helps like evenly disperse your grounds um, and then I just give it a quick tamp with the tamper and wipe it off and put it into the group head I know so many coffee words now and then you just press your double shot button and it will brew your espresso so very simple once you get the hang of it. This was definitely my best COVID purchase ever. <laughs> and I just love this coffee machine so much. So you can add your shot and then you want to add your syrup to the shot. I did two tablespoons, but you can do more or less if you like. And then you just wanna add your frothy milk and some sprinkles on top. And I didn't have red and green, so I used rainbow, but still so cute. Okay, the Irish cream cold brew. I was shocked at how good this is. So you wanna add some sugar, water, vanilla extract, almond extract, and cocoa powder. And all of this together with the coffee really makes it taste like Irish cream. So don't skip any of those. It's so, so yummy. And then for the cold foam, I did just oat creamer and I did the cold froth function. So you can do this with a handheld frother too. So to make it, you just want to add your syrup to a glass along with some cold brew. You could just brew hot coffee and chill it in the fridge if you like, but I just have this canned local cold brew from Java Blend. It's so good. And then you can just add in some ice cubes and add the cold foam 
and look at how thick and dreamy this is oh my gosh i am obsessed with this recipe um, and then to make it look like starbucks just do a little line of cocoa powder across the top and there you go Okay, last but not least, the caramel brulee latte, and we're starting off with the brulee topping. So it's just one ingredient. You just want to add some sugar to a pot and put it on medium high heat until it melts. And you can just kind of like stir it around to make this go quicker. Um, be careful, burning yourself with hot sugar is really dangerous i did it once and it was not fun so be very careful but this only takes a few minutes and then you can just pour it on a parchment lined baking sheet and let it cool for about five to ten minutes i just kind of like spread mine out a bit so it wasn't too thick and that's it you just want to let it cool so all together this takes about 20 minutes between the melting and the cooling so then to make our caramel syrup you can just add some sugar and water to a pot along with some caramel extract and vanilla extract and if it's easier you can totally just buy like caramel coffee syrup i have some of that but if you want to buy caramel extract to make your own that's fine too just kind of like two ways of doing it and then you can brew your shot again and for the milk this time because there's whipped cream on this, we really just need to steam the milk instead of making it frothy. So again, this frother has a steaming function. So I just added the milk to the frother and did steaming without froth. So this way it just heats the milk without making it all fluffy. So once the brulee topping is done, you can just kind of break it up. I like to fold the parchment paper over top of it so it doesn't go flying everywhere and then you don't have like sticky sugar pieces all over your floor. And you just kind of want to bash it with a spoon. It looks so pretty. It honestly, well, it kind of looks like a broken beer bottle, but it also looks very pretty. So to make the latte, you can add your caramel syrup to the coffee. Then you can add in your steamed milk. You can also steam milk on the stove if you don't have a frother. And then you can add some whipped cream. This is just a coconut whipped cream in a can along with the brulee topping. And that is it. It's so pretty. And also this mug is freaking adorable. I am obsessed. <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I absolutely love making coffee drinks, as I'm sure you know if you've followed me for any amount of time. Let me know if you've tried any of the Starbucks versions and then if you tried these ones and let us all know how similar they are. Um, there definitely are a few key ingredients that you can have at home to make amazing coffee. And I hope this video showed you how easy it really is. So that is it for this week's episode of the holiday series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.